Hi guys! So this is our first week of virtual programming. So let me first say that we're all super excited to uh, still be able to connect with you guys. Um, even though it's through a computer screen, I know that's a little hard, but um, we're excited to still be able to uh, do some things, provide some activities for you guys, videos, different stuff like that to connect to you all. Um, so right now I'm going to do a Smart Girls lesson. So for some of our girls, they already know that Smart Girls is a program that is all about, um, you know, learning, learning to love ourselves and become the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And, um, so today's lesson is just going to be laying the groundwork, um, because like I said, I know a lot of our girls are familiar with that. Maybe some of your parents aren't, so this will just kind of lay the groundwork for that. So, um, today we're going to be talking about self-esteem, um, and what self-esteem means. And normally this is where it's hard because I would be interacting with you guys, um, asking you all your opinions, but you're watching this video after the fact. So, um, we're just going to have to make do, but, um, so just as you're watching this, think to yourself, what do you think self-esteem means? Um, and the First of all, the most important part is knowing that self-esteem isn't based on what other people think about you, but it comes from inside of you. Um, we are the people who um, control what our, self, our self-esteem and where that comes from because it comes from inside of us. Um, sometimes you can also, you'll hear people talk about self-worth um, or self-image and that's all the same thing. It's the same thing as self-esteem. Uh, no matter what it's called, uh, remember that you are a valuable person who brings something to this world. There's nobody else in this world that is exactly like you. It's a lot like uh, snowflakes. Um, you know, there are billions upon billions of snowflakes when it snows, and each each one of them are different. They add something new uh, to what's already been laid down, um, and it's the same thing with you guys. Like. You all are um, these awesome, unique individuals who bring something different to the table that maybe the person next to you doesn't, uh, which is awesome. Um, so why is it important that we have um, a positive self-esteem? Um, and that's because it affects your confidence and how uh, you feel about yourself. And it even will affect your relationships with other people. Um, you know, if you don't feel good about yourself, um, if you feel down on yourself a lot, um, you're going to carry, um, all of those negative feelings into your relationships with, um, your mom and dad or your siblings or your friends, your grandparents, uh, whoever it may be. Um, but deep, deep down, um, you have to, you have to know, like, initially you need to love yourself and take care of yourself. Um, you... When you love yourself and appreciate yourself for who you are, uh, just like when you think negatively about yourself and you carry that into those relationships, when you love yourself and you appreciate yourself for who you are, then you also carry the positive into your relationship as, as well. It works both ways. Um, and then a popular question and a, a big thought is that um, other people's opinions affect your self-esteem. Um, and... That's only if you let it. So this is where it's really important to talk about how we treat others. Because how could teasing and mean treatment affect someone's self-esteem? Well, you know, if you have ever, if you've ever been picked on before, if somebody's ever made fun of something that you've worn, say you have bought this t-shirt that you are just, you love it, you're so excited to wear it, and then you wear it, and then you get to school and somebody is making fun of it. So suddenly now, you're not so excited to wear it because somebody had something mean to say about it. And so that ruined your thoughts about that shirt that you had that you originally were so excited to have. Um, but it goes the same way with when we speak positively to somebody. Um, you know, when, you know, how do you feel when your mom or your dad or your grandparents or your teachers um, or somebody at school, your friends... Um, just sing your praises about doing something good, meaning, you know, um, if you uh, color this picture and it looks wonderful and they just brag and brag and brag and they put it on the refrigerator, 
how does that make you feel? You feel proud. You feel um, excited. You're happy that somebody enjoyed your picture that you put all of this hard work into. So um, that's why it's so important to make sure that we're always kind to everybody because you know, you want to, people will say, will say it like this. They'll say, speak life into people. So you want to say things to people and you want to treat people in a way that is um, just going to bring them more joy and make them happier because their joy will carry on and affect other people. And then their joy will, it'll go and affect somebody else and make them happier. And then that person will affect somebody else and make them happier. So it just is this big ripple effect and it goes out and affects everybody around you. Like, how you treat somebody will go much further than you could even ever imagine. Um, so, how do you get good self-esteem? And that's a big question. That's a heavy question. Um, but it starts with you. So, you need to um, take some time every day to think about yourself. Think about the things that you like about yourself. If it's a thing of getting up in the morning and waking up and looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, you know what, I'm awesome and I know it and I love myself, then that's how you start your morning. Um, I know people have, um, people will write post-it notes, stuff on post-it notes, and it'll be positive images uh, that they see in themselves and uh, positive attributes that they see in themselves. Um, and they'll put it all around their mirror in the morning so that when they're brushing their teeth and they're getting ready, that's the first thing they see. Um, which, what better way to start your day than to see the things that you love about yourself written in front of you in your own handwriting. Um, and even doing something, um, like making a list. So, I have made a list myself, so you can kind of see. Let me dig it out. Okay, I'm going to... See. Okay, it'll be backwards because of the camera, but these are things that I like about myself. I put my eyes, my hair, my laugh, my ability to make new friends, and my smile. So, maybe take time to sit and make a list of things that you like about yourself. You know, what are, what are some things that you like about yourself? That is what I want you to do. I want you to sit... And I want you to make a list of five things. You can do it. I can think of so many things that I love about all of you. But um, just five things that you like about yourself. It can be like mine was both a mixture of physical things as well as, um, you know, things about me as a person. Um, so it can be the same way for you. Um, you know, just remember that you need to think of it like this, that you should treat yourself the way that you would treat a friend with respect and understanding and love. So it's important to understand that um, you're just, you are an awesome person. Uh, this world is lucky to have you. There's not another person like you in this world. Um, and that you offer so much to this world, to your school, to your community, to your family, to your friend group, and to our club especially. Um, so yeah, um, that's all about self-esteem. So I look forward to talking to you girls more about um, whatever may come up. Um, if there are certain things you want to talk about, um, I'll stick my email on the Facebook page. Feel free to email me a question. Um, and even parents, if you want to take pictures of your kids' list, let me see your list. I want to see your five things that you love about yourself because um, it's important that, that I see that you all are getting that. that. I want you guys to understand that you guys are spectacular. Um, in each individual way that you're just, you're awesome. Um, it's important for you guys to know that. So, uh, parents, take some pictures for me. Post them on our Facebook page. Post them in the comments of the video. Um, I'd love to see the list. I'd love to see all of the different reasons that your girls love themselves um, and that we love them as well. So, um, that's, the, that's all that I have for today. So, I will be talking to you girls hopefully soon. Bye.